Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got Michael just to the left of me and there he is. And um, we're gonna be heading out to West New South Wales again. I know we've been out there heaps, but this time we're gonna to go to a different area. Um, gonna to try to find some knob-tailed geckos and painted dragons and western blue tongues, things like that. Um, it is Thursday afternoon. We're just gonna drive as far as we can, camp up for the night and um, wake up tomorrow morning and start looking for animals. Uh, try to get the freeway driving out of the road. It's kind of the worst part and it's a bit of a waste of time. Anyway, I'll update you just when we find a campground. All right, everybody, we just made it to our a rest stop for the night. Michael's just finishing off his swag. I'm going to just have a nice sleep. We're going to wake up early tomorrow morning and get back on the road. And I reckon we should see a couple reptiles while it's a bit cooler. What do you reckon, Michael? Oh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully a snake, probably some shinglebacks and beardies. Anyway, I'll catch you in the morning. Morning guys, we're um, just finished packing up camp and that big yellow orb in the sky has just rose above the horizon, which means there will be some snakes and lizards out, give it probably half an hour and they'll be um, on the roads and hopefully we can see some. First reptile of the trip is this young eastern brown snake. Now, the young of these species has venom that works more effectively on small lizards and reptiles. And as they age, they're actually their venom changes components and becomes more neurotoxic for mammals. But this is a fresh one, probably from this year. You can see the black nape behind its head. That's a telltale sign. It's a brown snake. A lot of Legos lizards use that same mimicry. We uh, we'll let him go, and we'll try to find some more things. Hey everyone, we just made it to our spot. That we're going to try to herp. Um, just going to be cruising around looking for the right habitat. So knob-tailed geckos really, really love living in spinifex country. And um, I saw this tuft of spinifex here. It's a very spiky bush, and um, so we're definitely on the right track. We're just going to drive around for a little bit, try to find the best habitat to herp for tonight to increase our chances of finding one. We've just got a sand goanna on the road. He's in the shade just here. Oh, there he goes. Hey everybody, um, we just got a bit, not lost, but we're just following, <laughs> we're following Google Maps and it just it took us, the wrong took us just to roads that didn't even exist, <laughs> don't trust Google Maps, but um, we just backtracked, we got to see that sand go on, we couldn't feel much of him because our phones were overheating because it's 41 degrees, um, we just did a quick road temp saying 64, um, so it's really 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 hot out here at the moment we are now on the highway the main tar road and we're just going to go to a way I've been before and I know that works uh, we probably should have done that first but we did see heaps good spin effects we're pretty excited we got our hopes up for tonight anyway so we'll update you and we'll um, tell you
you what we're going to do next. After lots of driving, we made it to the pub, had some dinner. It was a good little dinner, um, just chicken burgers, but it's starting to become late afternoon. We're going to go try to find out this habitat, um, this spot we've been given, and yeah, hopefully we can find some reptiles. We've just got a bearded dragon on the road. Maybe he might sit there for us. He might not bolt. It should be good. There he is. Oh, there he goes. All right, after driving a little bit, we finally found some suitable habitat. We've got this really beautiful looking spinifex. I really like the color of this spinifex. It's like a lighter green color. Anyway, hopefully we get some knob-tailed geckos here and see what else we can find. I love how deep, how red this dirt is. Woohoo! Just found a little species of stenotis, or however you pronounce it. It's a pretty little guy. Just hanging out on the base of this spinifex. Pretty cool. Just found another beardy. This one's got a bit of attitude to him. Look how pretty he is. Oh, well, you guys have probably seen too many of these by now. I might stop filming them. Sun setting, weather's cooling. Let's go find some animals. How cool are these things? These are called night skinks. They actually come out after dark, which is a little bit different for a skink. But look at their heads, they are beautiful. What a gorgeous lizard. This is one of our targets. This is what we, one of the animals we came here to see. And um, they make their little burrows in the edge of the road here and come out at night and look for some bugs. Super awesome. Just come across this eastern stone gecko. Very pretty one. It's got a really nice pinstripe that goes down its back. Cool little gecko. It's been pretty slow since the skinks. Um, so I'm pretty glad we got to see this guy. Oh, well, we might take some photos and then keep cruising. Just cruised up on this Delma. I don't know what species. Well, we don't see many of these. I've I've only ever seen a couple. I'll put the ID up when I edit the video. Well, that's friggin' awesome. Super cool. These are a pygopod. They're related to the scaly foots and other species of legless lizard. It's exciting.
I'm fucking stoked. Sorry for my French. <laughs> oh, this is sick. This is the reason why we come out here, really. Oh, yes. That's so good. This is a smooth knob-tailed gecko. Um, these guys are burrowers. They live in little burrows during the day, coming out at night to feed insects. Very common in the hobby, but nothing beats a wild one. This is the first New South Wales one. Both Michael and I have seen these guys in the NT before. Oh yes, so stoked. Woohoo! Another new species for the night. Beautiful box pattern gecko. These guys have an absolutely stunning pattern down their back. Beautiful colors too. They are very, very common out here. They're very common throughout their range. Still, it's great seeing them. I love my geckos, so I get stoked whenever I see different things. Super good. Here's a cute little find, Eastern Beaked Gecko. They named that because their snout looks like a little beak. They're actually termite specialists. He's probably out here eating these ants or looking for termites. They are so tiny. Oh well, Michael's gonna get some photos of him and we'll let him go. Morning, um, just packed up the swags, as you guys probably would have seen, and we're gonna head off. We're gonna get, we gotta get some fuel in Cobar, which is about 200 and something k's away. But hopefully, we can get a um, painted dragon or something on the way out before it gets too hot. That's the plan, anyway. First beauty of the morning is just sitting on his post. How ironic. It's been pretty dead, so it's good to see something for the first time this morning. Bell's face lace monitor, first one of the trip.
How cool is that thing? So pretty. These are Australia, Australia's second largest lizard. And this is what we call the Bell's form. Bloody awesome. We've just got a lacy on the road. He's sprinting. He's going for a tree. He's gone for the tree. <laughs> Normal phase, lacy. You can just see him in the top of this tree. A super arboreal lizard. Pretty cool seeing him in this Spinifex country though. Something different. Oh, that's cool. We have lace monitor another, number three in front of us. This one doesn't seem to care at all. Far out, that is cool. Got this strap snouted brown, or a, or a shield snouted brown, whatever you want to call them. It's so common out here. I think we find one nearly every trip. Nearly every trip we come out. Such an awesome snake. I rate him. Now you just come down this road, we're like, oh, we'll get one down here for sure. And then what? Oh. Not even not even five minutes later? Yeah, it was five, ten minutes and this thing was crossing the road. So good. They're bloody quick when they want to be. Oh, yeah. Trying to run off, slip it off into the bush that quick. But it's calm right down now. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go, <laughs> that's just as I said it. We just pulled over to the side of the road and to a spot where I've previously found Tristus. We learnt from our last Queensland trip that when it's hot like this, these Tristus sit about head high in the trees, in the shade, trying to get the breeze as well, trying to cool themselves down. So we're trying to use that information of what we learnt and bring it here. But we'll have a quick look around. It's really, really hot. It's about 42 degrees, so I don't know how long we're going to spend here looking. As I was just saying about the Tristus, we 
We didn't find any walking around, but these lizards like sitting up about head high in the trees. Here's an eastern, uh, central bearded dragon. Just sitting in this tree, trying to keep cool. Super good when you start seeing habits like this. That's so good. I just saw a small dragon basking on his log. Baby bearded dragon. It is 43 degrees. Look at it. His mouth is open. He's so hot. Let's see what let's see what um temperature he was basking at. 61 60 degrees. And this lizard was sitting in the sun. That is a testament to how tough these animals are. Oh, well, we better get back in the car before we cook ourselves. <laughs> We are out trying to chase this storm. It's cooling the temperatures down a bit. We just spent some time at the local bowling club for a bit. It's just too bloody hot. I was just going for a drive along this dirt road, looking at the high points, and hopefully we can find a couple little, a couple of things. This is probably like the sixth beardy we've seen. But he's looking pretty proud up upon his log. Getting the last bit of sun that's in the Yeah. Do you mind if I walk up to him? First find for the night, something really unexpected, a yellow-faced whip snake. Something we haven't actually showcased on our channel yet. These are lightning fast lapids, mildly venomous, they won't kill you, but they'll cause you a little bit of swelling. And you can tell it's a yellow-faced whip. They've got that distinctive teardrop around the eyeball. All yellow-faced whip snakes have that. But first time seeing one out this far west, we've heard that you can find them here. We're just talking about it, actually. Yeah, we've found heaps in Sydney. Yeah, heaps in Sydney. Well, we've done photographing him. We'll let him on his way. It's been a pretty slow night, but I'm pretty happy to find one of these guys out here. We've seen plenty of them before, but never out here. This is an inland marbled velvet gecko, or I would draw a sinkter. Very pretty. Although it has not much patterning. Really cool.
pretty much a small out of the desert curl snake. We've seen plenty of these guys before. Seen plenty of those snakes. Morning everyone, we just packed up camp. We didn't, I forgot to film last night when we finished herping. Um, we didn't find too much, but it's still pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to herp a bit this morning, try to find some shingleback lizards and or anything really, and then we'll head off to Narrabri. Just got in a little central nether dragon. He's ready. He was just out basking. We've been looking for these guys just to get some footage of one. It took us way too long, they're so common out here. But he was just making the most of the morning sun, trying to get warm. Try to find a couple bugs to eat before it hits 40 degrees and he'll go back in his burrow. Beautiful little dragons. Just a little sand monitor in front of us. We got one earlier, but it bolted before we could even get any footage. He's just sitting there on the road. Super cool lizards. I love finding these animals. How cool is this? We saw a bearded dragon basking and then to the right of it is actually a different species of dragon. So we've got two different species of dragon just sitting next to each other on these rocks. It's so incredible. I got a beardy there. Yeah. And a Burns, Burns dragon. Or something like that. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. That's cool. And right there. A beardy. And they're sitting in the shade. Look at that. Wow. Well. Just made it to our campground and we just spotted this big burned dragon. Sun's just about to set. We had a quick swim. 
time to get ready and find some snakes. Yee-hoo! Hell yeah! Yes, we just got our target. Big adult spotted black snake. Not the biggest I've seen, though he's an adult. Far out, I'm excited. This is the reason why we came here. Yes! So good. Second snake for the night, big grey snake. That thing is massive. Alright, we just got this species of blind snake. I'm not too sure what it is. I don't want to pick it up. They bloody stink. A really fat one though. These... What is it? Michael just got a spiny tail. As I was trying to tell you guys about. That's what I thought you were stopping for. No, like, you're gonna fucking run it over. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny as. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to reverse the car. <laughs> That's as I was saying, these species eat um, ants. They raid ant nests and eat ant larvae and stuff. And usually are underground. Oh well, we'll leave him be and I'll go check out this trough. We have showcased countless of these, countless spiny tails on this channel. Eastern spiny tail. Super common out here. Still love to see them. Alright, well, we're going to keep cruising and hope for a Murray Darling carpet now, I think. Another common snake, red nape snake. We've seen countless of these guys, especially this season. <laughs> like a shoelace. Pretty cool little find, Olive Delma, Delma inornata I'm pretty sure. These are a species of legless lizard, they aren't actually a snake at all. You can tell they're a Delma, they've got these really pointy noses and very long tails. <coughs> pretty awesome to find one.
our second spotted black snake for the night. These are also called blue bellied black snakes. This one's got some beautiful speckling on it, not quite as nice as they can get in other regions. Only a little one, but oh, I love Sudecus. So does Michael. Michael loves Sudecus oh, as well. What a good find. Super stoked. everyone we've finished herping for the night 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 we'll see you all in the morning tomorrow morning's our last morning we're gonna be heading home we're gonna get in this swag before I get eaten alive by mozzies as well <laughs> morning everyone we've all packed up our swags this will be the last morning we're gonna be heading home today Such, such a good night. Good fun. Well, this gives us a chance to say thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe and follow us for more content. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow our Instagrams down below.